All right, so tonight we're going to do a, a tier list of uh, all the mainline Final Fantasy games. Nick, which ones did you not include? Uh, the only ones that aren't included in this are 11 and 14 because they're the MMOs. Didn't include Mystic Quest on the Super Nintendo. Didn't <laughs> because include... why? <laughs> why would you do that? It's a uh, terrible game. I love Mystic Quest. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay I like, yes all right I, well listen I like, skynet I, like, I don't want to like, upset you so <laughs> but um thumbs up. basically if it if it doesn't have a number in it then it's not in the list okay <laughs> so so like um vagrant story final fantasy tactics final fantasy tactics a and, and a2 tactics, man. uh tactics i love tactics is, uh, is definitely s ranked in my opinion it, it goes actually in its own category va- vagrant story isn't going to be a part of this the mmos all the shit. i love vagrant story vagrant story. is it even on steam yeah it's on steam is it jesus okay well, uh or i'm pretty sure i think anthology is on steam so for those who have played it, <clears throat> where do you rank it? Oh uh, fuck, I lost my image. I put it as C tier. Just because like I mean it's fine. It's the original, but I mean if you even the newer versions of it now, it's just gameplay wise, it just doesn't hold up. Uh all right. I put it in B just because I it, it was the first one, but it also was like the first Nintendo game I can think of that did like the side scroll jrpg Mm -hmm. type um instead of like the dragon warrior kind which i miss dragon warrior yeah but i actually prefer this side seeing the party from the side and actually being right my party so i give it a b for being sort of the first of its kind in that respect that lives that i can remember said you ever play the first one very briefly. Um, <laughs> pro- if I had to rank it, it'd probably be somewhere between C and D. Again, it's OG. I'm sure people, a lot of people out there love it. Yeah. Um, I, I personally, I just couldn't get into some of the earlier ones. Because um, I started the Final They're Fantasy boring. franchise. Yeah, I, I started late, right? Yeah. So it, it, it didn't pick me up when I was young. And it didn't, and it didn't the, the older ones didn't really grab me when I was, you know, of age when I was starting to play through Final Fantasy games. So they're probably great. But he just never did grab me, and I don't know that I can say that I'll ever go back and play them. It was based on what I've seen of them, and and that's that's totally fair. And I think a lot of people, it's like that rose tinted glasses kind of thing, right? Yeah, it's very. But basic. Uh, very I basic. will say that the best versions of one and two are probably the re releases that were on the Game Boy Advance. And the PSP, man, yeah. uh, or the PSP. I mean, the PSP one. I mean, it was good. Uh, it and was the sprites were really nice, but it was just. I don't know. I, I, I'm so much more nostalgic for the Game Boy Advance versions of one and two and yeah. five. All right. Well, so two is actually one that I can barely remember even starting. Like, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on the ones that nobody. Let's be honest. Who who cares about one, two, three? Those first three. Anybody? I care a lot about two because two is one of the worst games in the franchise. Was it re- okay? See, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in uh, in D because I just didn't play it. That's what D will also stand for. So the the problem with two, the systems that they had for Final Fantasy two is instead of a job system, they had a system where you could advance your character by constantly using magic or constantly using a certain weapon and level it up, and that's cool. But it was a very broken. Well, it was it was a very broken system because what a lot of if you go back to people actively play the game or speed run the game or anything like that, uh, what you do to cheese the game is hit your own party members and then you go to an inn and you heal. That is amazing. So people actually speed run Final Fantasy two. People speed run anything. Do people watch people speed run Final Fantasy two? People watch oh. other people speed run anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I I I don't I don't know why. I don't or know like, why. It's so what, big. What I any time <laughs> that I play Final Fantasy 2, what I do is I sit and I get into like encounters in the beginning of the game 
and then get the enemies down to just one enemy that doesn't hit very hard. And then I keep on like punching my own party with each other to level up their unarmed. Because like, you don't have to buy a weapon for unarmed. How and demoralizing your... is that to the one goblin who's alive? Like, <sighs> all my yeah, friends he's... are dead. <laughs> but it's like, it, it, it gets really bad because hmm. so... Um, since you're back, Ryan, do you have any uh, particular words on four, five, and six? Oh, uh, no, no, <laughs> I'm good. I just I hate allergies, man. Um, I had a, it's kind of like having um, <clears throat> you ever like eat Fritos or like some kind of chip that gets caught in the back of your throat and uh, um, dick. No, man. Like the dust. Almost. It feels like dust is in the back of your throat. I really, I don't know why. I'm trying not to laugh. Funnier and funnier. I've been biting my yeah. tongue ever since. Have you ever eaten Fritos? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> that, that's going to be a good sound bite, by the way. Yeah. But Came back at Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, adventures in being a grandpa uh, prematurely. So... <laughs> Uh, before I rant about Final Fantasy VII Remake, uh, how, <laughs> what, what are your guys' experience with Seven? What do you? What, what are your opinions? So for me, Seven hit at a perfect time in my teenage days where I needed to kind of escape, and Final Fantasy VII was it. Like it was a whole world I had never played a game like that uh in a long time like dragon warrior was probably the game i mained before all that stuff uh most recently um but yeah like you could go into this world it was three full cds big for all you young whippersnappers when oh, the yeah. video games were on yeah <laughs> that was huge <laughs> for us I remember that. right a whole yeah, like, 500 megabytes <laughs> <laughs> right like we were like three whole cds holy crap One point five yeah and so uh good old days of blockbuster i went and i rented this game oh jeez! and Damn. i was addicted uh you know i mean honestly i think i'm grading this more on a sentimental thing but i definitely have that up in a i will say it's also fair because uh when we start getting into like final fantasy 12 and stuff like that like i i will say it's fair to include advent children and final fantasy 7 remake in yeah this discussion i'm so not sure i haven't great. the remake uh damn i didn't mean to burp halfway through that but i i haven't <laughs> beaten the remake yet um i can't remember <laughs> also dirge of cerberus if you want to talk about dirge of cerberus was actually really good I in crisis core if you really? want to talk about that yeah it actually was oh, a very man. solid game <laughs> oh, I... didn't like you didn't like dirge of cerberus dirge of cerberus sucks I heard it what was... i thought it was pretty solid <laughs> hold on hold me on. personally i thought it was pretty good let's reference metacritic because that means nothing but it'll give us a uh a barometer a funny thing to comment for, on <laughs> for for a a shooter like a third person shooter oh, kind of a third person shooter <laughs> With Final Fantasy Lord, I thought it was pretty solid. Wasn't I, it on PlayStation Two? Yeah, unplayed. I didn't expect anything huge from it. I thought it delivered what it was gonna deliver, which was fucking and Vincent, mm, man. Vincent was shooting was the fuck out of shit. things. Yeah, Bruce yeah. yeah. Severus was a character action game before the time of Cry Three. <laughs> that broke up a lot. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it was. Uh, but no, I agree with you. I, said, I, I think I heard most of what you said. It was a. Really? Character action, yeah, character action combat game. Um, they honestly set the mode for some of these other ones out here. Nah, it came yes. out. It came out before Devil May Cry three, so it was experimenting with what it could before. It was trying to hit that Devil May Cry wave. Absolutely. It, well, it, well, before before the genre got solved by Devil May Cry three, it was a very good attempt. I don't know. De oof. Devil May Cry makes my thumb hurt still <laughs> like it, it just it hurts every time i think I, about that game i know i'll be in the boat by myself on this one but i i liked their just I, I thought it was a very solid action-packed game i, I um, don't hate the game i just think it sucks i never played it. <laughs> it's not one i would play again i wouldn't go back and play it for memories oh, but it's good? one that i have very distinctive memories of playing hmm so it's like a Far Cry 3? 
Uh, yeah, I, I like Far Cry Three. Yeah, yeah, no. I was, uh, would you want to go back and no I'd, life the whole game? I mean, yeah. I would just sit on the beach like I was told. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's really all that all game that was. Option. Can you follow directions? You can. Good, you win. I know. Right? That's. I would love part three though. It was the last one I really loved. I don't know why. That yeah, didn't they out. do that again? Which which one was it? Was it a uh, four? It was four. They did you it. Could just, you could just yeah, sit, sit in the dude's office, wait for him to come back. Yeah, dude, that's so funny. And in five, you can uh, choose to not put the handcuffs on him, and you, yep. <laughs> instead you'll just leave the compound. <laughs> I like that though. Your choices actually mattered, and following directions actually mattered. Yeah. Outside of that, I wasn't a huge Far Cry, honestly. Uh, but three was good. I don't know why we're getting so. Off. I, I don't know. I was about to say I, we, I, we derailed it. But, no, it's okay. So, like seven, like I put seven in S tier because I mean Brian knows for a fact that I I adore Final Fantasy seven, but um, well, Crisis Core, do. yeah, Cry- the game is legendary and it's good, but. Uh, I will say that uh, I don't have as much rose-tinted glasses for Dirge of Cyberus, obviously. Uh, Crisis Core was fun, but it played more like a Kingdom Hearts game, and I wasn't super into it. Uh, I love Advent Children. It played Children. like a bad Kingdom Hearts game. That's the yeah. thing. I love Advent Children. The The Blu-ray cut of Advent Children is so goddamn it's good. Yeah, it's really good. It's good but, after the fact, but the first time you saw it, were you like, "Oh my god," or were you kind of like, "Yeah"? No, I, okay. I, 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 I love it. it. I, I, I swear to you, I watch that movie every year. I liked it, but it was also very jarring because it almost <laughs> felt. You could tell, like it was trying to fill in some gaps, mm-hmm. and it itself had gaps. So <laughs> yeah. it, it was, it was very like, "Who? This is like for anybody that doesn't know anything about what's happening. This is jarring. You just shit's just going on. You don't know what's happening." Anybody notice this giant fucking gap next to this other gap? Who's this fucking long-haired this... angel bitch? <laughs> we have any kind of gip gap shit to put in there? That thing is huge. Why I do they all the... have suits on? <laughs> it's a giant fucking hole, man. Look at the size of I those think... tubes. The big thing right now, it's the only game that I have in S tier right now, but there are two games I actually have ahead of it. And part of it actually has to do with Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, I did like Final Fantasy VII Remake, but I'm not a huge fan of the changes in the story and kind of the change in direction in a minor way. Uh, I think it's still going to be a good minor? story when it's done. Yeah, I would say it's I mean... minor-ish. Uh, but I, I, I didn't like Final Fantasy. I, I, I didn't like Final Fantasy VII Remake as much as everyone else did. And I don't like the writing that's in it currently, but it's still a very good game. I ended up liking Jesse more than Aerith. Or Aerith. Or Aeris, or whatever you want to call her. They did that on purpose, though. What, Jesse? Yeah, like, they, they made you care about her more in the first act of the game, or first act of the story being the entirety of this game. Uh, they make you care about her more, so that way her death is more impactful story-wise. Mm. If you haven't known it by now, too bad. I was just gonna say, and if you haven't played it yet, right. to be fair, Jesse died twenty years ago. Right. Yeah. To be fair. To be fair. <laughs> oh, oh but yeah, Final Fantasy VII is great. Fucking shocker. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> I, I do want to go back to play it, but um. You know what actually got me to stop playing the remake was the very first time I uh, fought Leviathan. Uh, oh, in the uh, the little uh, sim thing, the simulation yeah, thing. Whoever like judged the distance between the difficulty gauges in those like summon fights was an asshole. I I like. Um, all of those being incredibly difficult because it was entirely optional. But none of them were until that one, like. I raffle stomped all the other fights, and then I got to that one and got my ass kicked for an hour. Then, then um, you better get those stats up, boy. Yeah, and I just Yo, didn't feel like okay. it at that point. I knew I was close to the end of the game, and like the combat started to drag towards the end. I'm not going to lie. It didn't get more interesting. It got more tedious. Yeah, I could see that. And, and like when I played through it again on hard, a lot of that stuff really did get tedious. Oof. 
God, I bet. Yeah. yeah. Why you would even want to do that to yourself. Um, <clears throat> but moving on. Final Fantasy 8's in B tier. Who's going to fight me on it? Me? Um, yeah. I will yeah. put that in A tier. Yeah, I'd put it in A. What oh, wow. Mean? I'm surprised All people right. <laughs> agree. I, I, I really, I kind of, I liked I liked it. I thought it was, it was very, when it came out, it was very new gen to me. It was yeah. very much, uh, this is what games are going to look like in the future. Oh, only like 10 times better graphics. Like, I felt like, I felt like 8 was the first real, like, sandboxy game, almost. I think Nick me. is about to have a heart attack. He really... <laughs> He was I like, want to. I just want to hear all the you? reasons why you're wrong. Oh <laughs> no! God, He's very confident. First of all, triple triad. There you yeah. go. All right, that's one good thing. Let's go. Well, that do we want to talk about? I know it's arguable. The, I like the story. The story was all I right. I it took a long I time. I thought. It did I take thought a long it, time. I thought it got absurd. <laughs> it did get a little absurd, but at the same time, like. It, it's your school only... turns into a rocket ship and you shoot to the moon. Your what now? Your school turns into a rocket ship and you shoot to the moon. Hey, hey, what the word about fantasies in the title? Okay, <laughs> I was it, like... it's the final one. So <laughs> did you watch Magic School Bus? I was as just a kid gonna I mean, reference the Magic School Bus. <laughs> yeah, damn. I was just gonna be like that honeycomb beehive bitch with the bus that Mr. turns Ripple? into stuff and. Yes, I can't remember the name. I I couldn't remember the name. That's why I didn't say it. Yeah, don't uh, don't get me on a tangent on that. They replaced. They gave Rick and Morty an entire show from that. All right, come on. (laughs) I'll I'll put it in A tier just for you, but I'm going to explain all the things I don't like about it. Okay, fair. Uh, There's a lot of them. I don't like Squall as a main character. I don't think <gasps> jump off uh, your cliff. Fucking I, mouth. I, I, don't, <laughs> I, I don't think he had a very good character development. And I think he I was just entire, heard I, he, he was the most of a thousand emo kids. He he ball. was entirely so <laughs> he was entirely carried by the rest of the cast. He was Squall 2.0 to me. He was my favorite, but also... His gun blade had more personality than him. Gee, now that's just disrespectful. Just, just I'm mean, saying. Now. Damn. Just, just be mean. Just doing it <laughs> to do it now. Jesus. Um, um, Nick, did you ever have imaginary friends as a kid? I, th- I mean, I think... Are they I'm also mean? More. No. <laughs> <laughs> they left you. Who, they left who you hurt you? Was Casper not so friendly? <laughs> So the other thing, the Someone big has hurt one of the one of the large issues I do have with the game is the story did take a little longer than it should have to wind up. When it does wind up, especially when you start getting to like the Laguna stuff, yeah. like that stuff is great. I'll give you uh, that. It takes too long to get exciting, and up until that point, it's so nonsensical as to just be almost ridiculous like hard to and, take I, and, and and cedric is right both of you are right. when it came out the graphics were unbelievable <laughs> which is like yeah, you if you look at the amazing. difference between seven and eight in graphics you got dung bells oh, yeah for fucking for fucking arms your arm I looks like a trapezoid go, you should get that checked out i need to go back and actually see if I want to say Parasite Eve came out before. Yeah, Parasite Eve was amazing. Pa- Parasite uh, Eve, Parasite Eve one and two were the testing them. grounds for Final Fantasy games on the play. Ha- ha- had to be because that type of leap, like literally, fucking uh, Cloud's arms looked like two twenty five well, pounds. You just fucking <laughs> well, no, throw the shit out of them. No, they literally <laughs> were though. Like, yeah, that's that's what they like, were. And the, then the, the combat system in Parasite Eve one was the prototype for what they were kind of envisioning for eight Wait. but they couldn't flesh it out so they just went back to normal so i want to know for any of you when you first played part seven and you had to go to the gym and do that stupid squat you know like uh, what is it the, the squat yeah, to get the wig yeah but there's like three different things and i can't remember the other two parts of the like, yeah. You had to go to the gym. You had to go to the gym to get a wig. You had to go to the bar to get the dude to make you a dress, and then 
Yeah, uh, that, but like that was that was a you had to do like this exaggerated like squat thrust, uh, yeah, fucking championship thing, and it was the most annoying part of the game. Did anybody ever get like the momentum of that correct? Yeah, I mean, you just oh, hit yeah. the button. you just hit the buttons in the right order. Yeah, but didn't you have to do it? <laughs> God damn it! Stop making it sound like it's Guitar Hero on easy, like. But it's you just hit the four buttons in the right order. Yeah, but didn't you have to do it like with a certain timing that was really sort of odd? And maybe it's just yeah. me, like I said, who never played. It was music one. Much. It was one, then two, then one, then two, then one, then two. Because no, because you are right. There was a rhythm to do it, but if you did it on rhythm for what like a normal metronome is, uh, like a a standard beat would be like it, it was easy. It was just one, two, one, two, one, two. It was yeah. I can't dance either, so I don't know. Yeah, maybe the two correlate. Fuck it. Moving on. You know what to say? Gangsters don't dance. <laughs> All right. So now, now we're at nine. Nine is my favorite game in the series. So before I hijack some shit, did anyone else play nine? Yeah, played yes. nine. Had a shit ton of fun blowing the world up before the game even started. Yep. <laughs> and can I just say Ozma? Ozma. Yeah. Um, oh, my big thing, me and Brian were talking about when we were playing Vermintide last night, the music in that game is oh, probably some, some of the best that the franchise has ever had. It's so yeah. damn good. Yeah, no, nine is definitely up in S rank for me. Definitely. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm not done bitching about eight. The magic system's ass. Okay, I'm done. No, hold on. Whoa. Fuck you. I was going to leave that alone. <laughs> so I brought it up. So now I'm going to say it. boomerang. <laughs> it was a fantastic system. If. No, it wasn't. You had enough, um, I don't know, weed or special K or alcohol. Boy, why is there to get an to if the point? I want to cast fire. Why is there an if? <laughs> I'm just saying, if you had enough boredom in your in your backlog to be able to sit there and like drain it out of everybody, like it gets it's, later on. There, there's actually a good system in place, but that beginning where you had to like suck 99 spells out of something. Whoever play tested that part and didn't immediately like have to commit Harry Carey um, should be fired now if they're still with the company. That was I, a I, I dislike it a lot, uh, but you are right. That is actually one super redeeming thing about Final Fantasy VIII, and I promise I'll stop talking about it. Uh, <laughs> when you actually start getting a collection of magic and a collection of summons and equipping them stuff. to the character equipping them to your character in different ways will give them different stats that's yeah. fun yeah that like is the fun. guardian forces and all that stuff like later on when that like you can really min max the stats to try and beat whatever the like omni weapon thing was at the end of the game um ultima weapon i think or omega weapon yeah, regardless it was like the the one weapon that they tried to use instead of ruby and emerald but it, it wasn't really as cool as either of them were old ultima i think it was ultima it was in it was in her palace it was in ultimisa's palace at the end i think that's where you had to fight it I, I don't remember it's been a long time like some buddies and i did that in um in college we stayed up for like a week solid trying to in closing that. i don't like having to suck off the planet for magic Ooh, i thought you liked seven what Oh, oh uh, you got me. Underhanded. You got me. Also, <laughs> Damn. not that funny. Well played. Damn. You got me. Okay. All right, so back to nine. Music's good. Yeah. Um, my big thing with Final Fantasy IX is the the equipment system, which is something a lot of people don't actually talk about. The way that you actually get your passive abilities in Final Fantasy IX is every piece of armor and uh, weapons that you pick up, they each have small passives attack attached to them, like Bug Killer, for example. Oh, you do yeah, increase damage that. to bugs. And if you use the weapon enough, you learn the ability, it gets added to your character, and then you can switch to another weapon, and let's say it has 
plant killer, you do increased damage to plant monsters. Your character, because you maxed out the previous weapon, your character passively does increase damage to bugs for the rest of the game while yeah, you can cool. farm up the other passives and add them onto your character. Yeah, it was a, it was a good system. And also, <clears throat> triple triad. Triple triad back yeah. better than ever. Uh, yeah. A lot of people that I talked to, they weren't a fan that certain parts of the game were locked behind triple triad, like in the story. Mm. But the encounters in triple triad were easier for those. So what was the name I, of that I, big I, city I that we were trying to think of yesterday um, mm. where there was a bit in the sewers? Uh, I forgot. And it's name. also like we're the st- bit where triple triad opens up. It's um, in city, but I can't remember the name of it. Oh my. Oh. Um, <laughs> but the the main reason why I like the game so much. You got a little T because... Pain thing going on. It's not breaking up as bad as usual. But it's almost GLaDOS in style. <laughs> it was almost. Do you know the words by any chance? <laughs> no. To GLaDOS' but, um... song? Sorry. Um. There isn't a bad character yeah. in the game. Wait, what was the big chef? Quinoa? Yes, maybe. She was annoying yeah. more than terrible. I like it. I just didn't I like, like the way she talked from what I remember. I oh. I like it as a um a character to bounce off the rest of the party. Did she do like a Jar Jar Binks kind of speak? Not nearly as obnoxious, but I guess it's kind of in that vein. Okay. I I may have uh, have treated her unfairly because of Jar Jar. I don't know. It was one of my favorite things about 10 that I just want to throw in there is uh, everybody remembers uh, what was Dagger's original name, Garnet? Yes, oh, but yeah. neither of those were actually her real name. And people that really, I don't know how they figured it out, but they scoured to figure out how to do this. And it was one of the achievements I always felt really proud of that I accomplished in that game was I found out her real name. And it was a part where they go up to, uh, I want to say it's Red 13's original village. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but there was a room that was circular. And you had to do this crazy combination of going around the room, like X number of times left, X number of times right, and you found a note. And it was addressed to, like, I forget if it was, like, her original parents or whatever. Um, but, yeah, you did, her name was, was secret throughout the whole game, unless you did that thing. What was it? Sarah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Wow. That's really yeah. Cool. It's it was like, really anticlimactic. As I, well. was just, I was just going to say that's that's some mag level, yeah. <laughs> you know. Right. Like, what was her name? Mary. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It was like I'm going to give him the greatest ever, <laughs> name ever, Beth. Ted. <laughs> Beth. <What? laughs> I I think the the only thing about Final Fantasy IX that I don't like is that um, Kuja or, is I, not. I'm sorry. I said Kuja, Ku, Kuja is not the last boss. Right. Um, Kuja angers an all-powerful being and you have to fight him before he destroys the world so he is the reason that you have to fight this all-powerful being but Kuja uh, it, it's not a Kefka situation or an X-Death situation <clears throat> where they become God you know right don't forget the oh actually no we haven't gotten to that game yet we're getting there never mind to 10 we go. 10 goes in S tier. Yeah, I'm not going to fight you on that. Uh, it's so that. goddamn good. Okay, the thing about 10 that kind of bugs me the is laugh? the end of the story. that too? The end <laughs> of the storyline <laughs> is exactly the end of the storyline of 8. Oh. Yeah, you know what? Jesus, yeah, that's, a- that's actually a good point. Ish. <laughs> Maybe it's because uh, they realized they're, they're, they're... nobody finished 8. There, there are there are keys, you know, differences, but that's actually like in yeah. broad strokes. You're right. Yeah, I mean, like I'm boiling it down pretty hard, but I never like, thought about that. I, I mean, I beat it. when I beat ten. I was like, wait, 
wait, this is familiar. <laughs> and I was kind of pissed about it. <laughs> so that's the only reason that I throw it in A rank is because it was not really an original ending. And I am a dick about it, but I am that petty. Who here uh, likes sure. Blitzball? I mean, you you can't not like it, especially because you, you can't not, not admit that that fucking scene for 10 where they're all in the fucking Blitzball dome just <laughs> that, shredding that shit great. that didn't mean as hard. I mean, come on. I, this was I, the I, first one on PlayStation 2, correct? Yeah. yeah uh, but like, this was yeah. like... Yeah, so we looked at that and we're like, wow, oh, the graphics. Yeah. <laughs> and the vocal and, and, acting. <laughs> we finally had vocal acting. Yeah, oh, and, and going back to it, like... Okay, you know what? I'm bringing it, it up. good for us. The music is really good. All of the side content, for the most part, is really good. Uh, grinding out the Blitzball games for Waka's best weapon got a little annoying because it just took so long, but yeah. I do actually still like playing Blitzball. I... Uh, mm, yeah, you know what I do like is the uh, the bit at the end game where they had the insanely strong monsters that you could fight. Yeah. Um, because I got most of the. I don't think I actually got Waka's legendary weapon. I got most of them, but I wasn't willing to put in that much blitzball time. It it took some time. I, it, it oh, oh super, like... super fun fact about that: Waka uh, is the same voice actor as Bender on Futurama. Yep. What the hell happened then? Jake. He... Yeah. <laughs> well, he went normal voice instead of that gravelly bender voice. Yeah. yeah. Like, and it, this it was, is this is pre Marcus Phoenix. Yeah. Wait, he also did more voices after they heard um, he him do Waka's voice and hired the him. Yeah, he, he is oh, yeah. he is uh Waka, Marcus Phoenix, Jake the Dog from Adventure Time, yeah. Bender from Futurama. Count um, uh, Joe Tony. DiMaggio, I think. Joe John DiMaggio. DiMaggio. John, uh, John, John, John. Yeah, I, I screwed that up. John DiMaggio, uh, super awesome. I love the guy. Okay. Oh, and uh, the little Black Devil guy in the new uh, Matt Groening on Netflix. Yeah. No, that's uh, shit. What's his name? That's not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. So now I can't remember his name, and it's it's Andre. Uh, Eric Andre. No, no, that's oh. not Eric Andre. Oh, thank God. So wait, really? Fucking Eric Andre, I can't stand him. I think show. I kind of don't like him either. But I thought he was the voice to the little devil guy. No, no, are no. You I certain that he's not. I'm. Wait, are you I'm talking? You're talking about sure. what? Big mouth? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, did um, you say dick mouth? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Big mouth. Oh. <laughs> That's what you're thinking of, Brian. Right? No. I'm thinking sure. of this show, um, Matt Groening's show, um, Disenchanted. Disenchanted. Oh, okay, okay, Disenchanted. Because I know, I think Eric Andre <laughs> does do. No, Kroll does Big Mouth. Yeah, they're both the same to me. Oh my God, no, I am wrong on that. <laughs> okay, no, John DiMaggio is King Zog. He's the dad. I am I'm a horrible sorry. Fan. Just, just wait. Uh, who, who's the? Uh, I'm still laughing. It is Eric Andre. It, it is Eric Andre. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, uh, I want to see that. Show. Oh well. Okay. Uh, Anyways, we're way off base. But, I, I, but, that's my fault. But no, for it's all right. <laughs> but yeah, just a, everything about FF10 is good. The only thing that's I'll argue isn't very good is the sphere grid, because the sphere Wait, grid is what? it's just a straight line. Yeah. Okay, like it it gives you the Delusion. impression that you can go different directions, but Free will you, is an illusion. You, yeah. it, is, it po- is it possible to give RN white magic? Yes. Why would you? In, in in which, if you do it, if you go that far out of the way just to do it, you are heavily crippling his stats and giving him a bunch of stats that don't affect him very much and make him very right. weak overall. Yeah, True. it's also, punishment for not min maxing and yeah. yeah. It's more like if you really wanted to sit there and do it, I'm couldn't you make every character a homogenous company a company? No, not company. You actually cannot. You you actually no? can't because what makes bleeding over into other people's trees in the sphere grid happen 
is that you have to use key spheres. Uh, and they have those different uh, levels of key spheres that you use to unlock major parts of the grids. Oh, uh, okay. And basically you can't acquire key spheres of a certain level until you get to certain points in the game. So you get gate kept a little bit by that, which causes you to go down the natural progression of each character in a very linear way. So either you don't progress your character until you get the key spheres for it, or you backtrack for it and waste a bunch of spears going back to where you were, or you waste key spheres doing stupid shit and then you can't advance, like, say, Lulu or Yuna into the highest level of magic because mm -hmm. you've wasted all of your uh, keystones. Right. I am. Okay. For the D&D nerds out there, basically, <laughs> it's like multi-classing and never being able to hit level 20 in uh, one class. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. That's better. Uh, because and what's it, that? Like, I played 10 on multiple playthroughs. I played 10. I even finished the Albed language at one point on one of my playthroughs. Because a big thing is, like I said, there's like Aaron, for example, you could make him learn the white magic, which is on the polar opposite end of the grid. But to do so would to use a bunch of key spheres gotcha. and then using those key spheres would actually cripple you potentially in the long run for your other characters because you don't have enough to do the good shit on your other characters. OK, that well, makes sense. Yeah. So. Yeah, ten, ten. I agree. Ten still top uh, tier. Ten still was so. I I actually put ten above seven because it's easier to revisit. Oh yeah, no, mm. I can agree with that. Like honestly, like sentimental wise, seven is higher on the list. But as far as actual gaming and stuff goes, I agree a hundred percent. Ten is comfort food, man. So what about ten two? Ten two. All right, now we S tier. <laughs> Wait, S tier. Okay, on. me, me, and Cedric are not going to be arguing today. Wait, are, was that a genuine S tier? S tier. I, solid game. I I, I like game. I solid gen, game. I, I genuinely I like game. I genuinely <laughs> have it in B tier. I love I, X two. Uh, yeah, honestly, I me personally like true rating for it. I, I think it's it's between B plus A, A minus. I, I that for me, the, okay. the biggest fact, problem, it is actually a solid game with biggest solid pro systems. Biggest problem with the game is you can't play it without a guide. Right. Also, <laughs> biggest the story. Biggest part of the game is you can't play it with both hands. <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> disgusting. Oh. that's what I was doing wrong. No, I, I, I was so um, bored. <laughs> no, no, I. I did not give it a chance, I'll be honest. Um, no, I played maybe 10, 15 minutes into it, and it was just like, this is weird, and I don't like it. And it was just not what I was expecting, and I put it down. Uh, I was exactly I can't honestly, what I was expecting. Yeah, it, well, and that's the thing. Like, I can't honestly give it a, any rating um, because I did not give it a, a good shot. It was the, that or I go see Charlie's Angels, and I picked playing it instead. The... <laughs> the the existence of X2 makes the ending of 10 kind of strange. Also palatable in a weird way. Because yes. It's, uh, it's not so ridiculous. Like, I guess I, yeah. I, I didn't think the ending of 10 was that. I, I thought it was a very well thought out idea. But uh, yeah, the big thing. Repeat themselves ish it's more of like um or not the dreams themselves but uh, all right i don't want to get into that too much because yeah. that's its own video uh, uh but but i i like where where 10 had a lot of doom and gloom very religious undertone to everything x2 is uh so like i said before i said 10 is my comfort food i like it being in that same universe something i'm very comfortable and happy with and it's a very upbeat story for the vast majority of it compared to 10, which is more doom and gloom and very religious. Yeah. Very, uh, Yuna gets her group back. Anyway. Yeah, very much. Uh, <laughs> I didn't enjoy Very it. Sailor Moon transformation-ish. Like, I, one thing I actually do remember really liking about it, though, were, uh, or was the fact that, like, for one of the first times that I could think of, your characters actually looked different when they switched classes. 
Yeah. yeah. The the dress gear deal. system was really cool. Yeah. And also, uh, I think at the time I actually liked Payne. Uh, I still I still love her. I think she's a great design. I don't know. Rika. Is it Rika? Riku? Riku. I, she was my favorite. She was my favorite from like 10, though, as well. I always had the hots for her. Um, my, Brian's my, first wife. My, my, big problem <laughs> pretty with much, the, pretty much. my big problem with the game is uh, I say that you can't play it without a guide, and there's actually two real reasons for that. The true ending to the game is so obtuse to get without a guide. It's oh, then I definitely didn't get it. Uh, the the true ending is actually very good. I like it a lot, but it's it's just you have to do some of the most obscure, stupid shit to do it. But the other reason I say it is because it the reason why it's in B tier for me is because uh, I actually really like the combat system, but the puzzles that the game is bloated with are awful, and some <laughs> of the solutions are stupid and idiotic. Well. Um... Yeah. Let's see. We've got five left, but I think. All right. Well, here's the important one. Uh, Twelve uh, out of the group. The I think the most realistic. Re- wow, that was quick for you, huh? All the way up in S. I'm gonna. I would say A, but that was because I, I agree that the combat system needed work. Like magic, I think I think the I think the combat system was perfect. Was magic still pointless in the revisited version or the remastered? Uh, it was retooled to be more helpful. Okay, because it was largely like pointless the first. Time. I will I will say a lot of the reason why I put it behind Final Fantasy VII is actually because of the international version and the Zodiac Age. Okay, I um, so I would have played the original version. But I, I I actually did beat twelve. Like I put I think a hundred and five hours into that. So tw- what's actually funny, Final Fantasy twelve back in two thousand eight held the Guinness Book of World Records for the game with the longest development time at five years. Jesus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um and, and that's why, like I said earlier, like I think Final Fantasy twelve is such a tragedy. It went through so many rewrites. The original story had a good was what well, listen to this, this is actually why is because if you play if you play final fantasy 12 and your main party is bosh balthier and ash if you actually play the game like that and ignore vaughn ignore Pinello, and you play the game only focusing on those three characters it is a fucking awesome story well that would make sense because those are all the characters i could stand well, there's that. There is that. But that's how the game was originally written as well. The original story for Final Fantasy XII, you were going to play as Bosch. And the story was actually going to be Fran and Balthier breaking him out of prison after stealing the Sunstone. Okay, so that would that would have been cool. Is there any reason why they decided to do Titus 2.0? They did Vaughn because it was focus tested. Oh fuck! Yeah, that's focus test. It it was focus test. The game overall had focus testing done to it, and they found that Vaughn and Pinello were more relatable to the audience because they were a common man and woman. Wow! So the original story, because the the actual story of the game is more like a political drama more than any of the other games and that's why i actually like it so much is because it is so different maybe they should have done focus testing with like former playmates i i wish they didn't do it at all because the original story on top of the you know heavy political tone that they you know ended with with the judges and all of that um it was going to be a very big political drama where you play as a prisoner of war and i was that just sounds great to me Mm. I don't know, I think but I, I don't know where I fall. the the job The original job board was awful, but what they did in the international version and the Zodiac Age, uh, they actually wanted to change the job system to that, but it wasn't going to be done on time for release for the original game. Oh, um, 
so that's why in the zodiac age version of final fantasy 12 the version that you can get on steam ps4 and switch they have an updated job system where you choose your zodiac sign and you can fill out that board and that board is much smaller and very centralized behind certain equipment certain weapons and you can only get the summons that are attached to each of those zodiac signs so each sign has a summon locked behind it and each character can get two different summons because you can get two different zodiac signs okay so that that is fun yeah, I will have to take your word for it. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. Uh, can... Also, also the the gambit system toward the beginning of the game really isn't that good because there's not a lot of variety. But no, if you if you actually spend time to buy the different gambits and the different percentages and all of the d- different things that you can do, um, it it, it it goes hand in hand with the updated job system because okay. the updated job system let you focus on what you actually want for each character and get the abilities spells and things that you want and then the increased focus on the gambit system in the international version and zodiac age version allow you to <laughs> create the party that you want and make the encounters that you want um well, all right. So I, I I'll see twelve um, because I just don't have enough experience with it. Fifteen, <laughs> yeah. Which I also honestly I feel like fifteen deserves a D rating. It was terrible. What? I'm sorry. I know you. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Hold on. I thought we were going to be fighting about X two, but here we are fighting about no. the one that's holding up A tier. Oh God. What? It, oh how is my. it holding it up? Because the characters are great. They are written in such a way that they all bounce each other bounce off of each other in such amazing creative ways. The environments, even though mm. the second environment in the game is a little empty, they're all very big, open, sprawling things with plenty to do if you do the side quest. The combat is very good even if you play the uh, turn-based version of the combat system where you take an action and then the game freezes, allowing you to pick whatever action you want for that situation. And it pauses it in such cool cinematic places. The music is so goddamn good. Breathe, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. We we won't jump in like wolves if you take a deep breath. <laughs> I just like how they incorporated some of the primals as well, like you, you being able to go and fight Yojimbo, and uh, I don't know, like I, I thought it was a pretty good nod. I, I will say this: I wish the combat system was a little better. I, sorry, yeah. I'm still gonna throw it down in the D tier. I think it was garbage. God, I, I, I do think that, uh, especially when I went back and I played it on a harder difficulty, playing it in the turn-based mode made it way better for me. Hmm. I like the I like the idea of action combat. I I've been saying this for fucking ever. Like hmm. I love the idea of the of an action combat, you know, Final Fantasy. Like they just have to do it right. They just have to do it right. <laughs> yeah. Just one yeah, time. No, no, for the love no, of God. No, I, just keep I, trying, I think that's totally but, fair. Like I know, I think Final right. Fantasy 7 remake is really close. Yeah, I I I can agree with that. but um so they just made the the action combat a little too simple in 15. That was like my biggest problem with it. Be more seamless as well. Um, the the Vorpal system's a little broken. A little bit, yeah. Like it, it does being so able to do that damage. is it it it's basically like they were just like ah you know just do this. Well, it's not like even the mobility. Them. It does too much damage. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like <laughs> it, it just it does it did too much for you. There was no point to do anything else really no. because just fucking teleport <laughs> everywhere why why not <laughs> right right i mean they were god i really tried to like that game man i played it on ps4 ps4 pro uh and PC. windows 10 yeah and I th- xbox it's one i'm definitely gonna finish um so, i do like it a lot i big, just oh, wish the combat was better I'm with you on that, except for, like, I realistically don't see myself ever finishing it. Like, it's another one of those games I played a little bit of, and I actually started it over twice. 
and every one of those times it just didn't catch me as much as it should have it was fun it was beautiful it just didn't catch me storyline wise quick enough where it, it had two conflicting styles of story right yeah. so it's it's got this kingsmanship like thing going right. on but then you have a kid like like a, cr- a crew that you're just yeah. kind of like oh man this crew is cringe <laughs> as fuck <laughs> like, like you know, am like, i even am, am I to be playing this am i too old to be playing this i feel like i'm too old to be playing this. real but i, I want to drive this car off a cliff i yeah. love the boys man the they're boys the they're just a little the knight and his merry men my dude no, they were a little oh, much dude man. i wanted that yeah. I so like, i've created a new That's recipe my true. dude there wasn't a time in that game where I was like, am I the cool one in this crowd? And second question, do I want to be the cool one in this crowd? <laughs> Gladio, is the only, Gladio is the only cool one in that crowd. Right, yeah, the Chad. <laughs> I love Like him. the super uber, like no question about him, he's the Chad guy. Right. Yeah, no, I, lo- I love Gladio. <laughs> Lost his virginity first. I think the, the big reason why, I, as much as I do like the game, the reason why I don't put it in uh, S tier is because the combat is a lot to pick up especially like even if i went back to play it right now i honestly wouldn't be able to perform very well uh it's it's too goddamn hard to go back and replay for me and i I hate the magic system i I think i think the magic system in that game was garbage i like the fishing fishing was great the cooking was kind of cool but again it was just like Why? The I, boys go cook, go go camping. I, uh, right? I, it's, 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 it's o- always sunny. <laughs> it's always. <laughs> it's like, do but, I need uh, to take pictures every time? Every time, gang yeah. shows a coup. Like, he, gang his ass Muhammad. would get left at a motel in the beginning of my playthrough if, if like real decisions were being made. Yeah, he was just fucking taking pictures. <laughs> just <laughs> fucking. The gang <laughs> challenges God. And snapped his neck and left him in a dumpster at the first hotel. <laughs> oh my god! The, the, I'm the, sorry. Ga- I hate the game, the game is extremely hard to revisit. Yeah, and it's just the the game's controls. Once you get a hold of them, are good, but it, it's hard to control. deny that the controls are a little whack, especially also, for PC. Yeah, it played like hot ass too when it first came out. Like, don't forget. Yes, it did. You <laughs> needed a whole ass patch for it to be okay. <laughs> the, DLC is good, the DLC is good, though. The DLC is good. See, and that's the like DLC said, is good as well. It, it def- they definitely did a great job of fixing the game. Um, <laughs> it just wasn't good in the beginning. I mean, that, and I'm gonna say, I won't even say it wasn't good. It just, it's a lot to take in. It, it is. It is. But you're absolutely right. The 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 music in that game is is wonderful. The 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 theme when you first turn the game on okay like, i do like the theme that shit hell yeah that was good I'll, I'll admit that intro theme where they're pushing the car that was pretty solid but everything I, from there was a, just a runny mess the, su- the supporting time. cast in 15 is also a little weak yes a little? I agree with that. like who is the Very big bad guy because i didn't even care by the end i can't remember his fucking name <laughs> yeah that's how <laughs> good your antagonist band. was Huh? Um, I remember him being really cool, and I love his outfit, and I don't not. remember his fucking name. He was not. Uh, I love him. Are we uh, talking about the guy who killed your dad? Uh, no, he's in prison. I'm talking about Final Fantasy. God damn! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired that that took me, man. I was like, it got oh so God. dark. Oh God, did that bring <laughs> right. up the feelings? So bad. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> so. How many so left? Guess, is that it? No, that, that uh, it, so Chancellor what? Arden Azuna. Azunia. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Chancellor. Or Arden. Oh. Whatever. Yeah, Arden. Um The guy who ends up sort of looking like the mom from Married with Children. He looks like Bob Dylan in Final Fantasy <laughs> Stuck yeah. his finger in a light socket. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. I remember. Oh. Um, but yeah, it's fifteen. As it, it was a huge spectacle, but it was weird because just like how I couldn't remember the guy's name, like it wasn't particularly memorable. The story, at least, I don't. It wasn't very memorable. Yeah, that's me. yeah. It didn't grab me at all, man. <laughs> were, I was gonna say, were there a lot of other Final Fantasies that required an hour and a half full movie primer to even grasp? 
Like, if you really wanted to understand that game, you had to watch whatever that terrible movie was. Uh, that movie was uh, not great. Yeah, it, it was uh, by itself. Um, it is not a good movie. Like, it was good as as an addendum to something. Like, wow. Like, well, it's like I need.